Hi everyone, I'm Timothy McSwain, and I'm recording this episode for the second time. Thank you, ScreenFlow, for being stupid. Okay, so we are going to... I'm, I already beat this level, and I'm going to do it again, because you guys didn't get to see it. And that really sucks, because this level's annoying. And I deleted the thing I used to make it. Great. Alright, let's just try this, then. Uh, I, I'm focusing on the next level mostly, so, the, the problem with this is it's so annoying, this is, <sighs> what in the world, see this is, I was trying to do this before and the, the multi-tool wasn't working for some reason, I think it's just too heavy, um, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and the wheel falls off. Basically, look, you're supposed to go up here to the top of the hill, do 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 do, and jump off the end. Okay, great. Go to the next level. Um, I'm not gonna deal with that again, cause now I was I was like all relaxed, and then I decided to record, and I mean, and I was still relaxed, and then the stupid thing crashed on me when I tried to pause it. So, lesson learned. Never pause the recording, stop the recording, and make a new one and splice the two together. How does that sound, Tim? Good idea. Okay, this is the double roller. I made this one to complete this level. We have to destroy 60% of everything. And in order to do that, we need to kill these guys, we need to destroy these houses, and we need to blow up this castle. So, I built something that could roll around and attack people, but that could also fling a catapult ball. Uh, I called it the double roller. I might end up calling it the triple roller if we can get this to work correctly. So let's see. Um, what I wanted to do was make... Okay, music. I told you to shut off. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I told you to shut off before I started. Um, do two of those. We'll do... Not a steering hinge, not a decoupler. Where is that? This thing, hinge. Okay, and then above that, block and block, and that should be even. Yep. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to go. Up, 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 up. And then for the last one, we just do a single. And then come up, come up. Okay, next part is the springs, which were annoying to try to place because the mouse I have doesn't really allow you to, uh, you know, click on that. I can't really turn the camera very easily now. So let's just mimic this on all sides. All right. And then now we just have to put a some holders down and some bombs in them. Now I can have these set up uh, to trigger individually by changing the hotkeys, but I don't think I need that. Um, let's save this as the double roller. But then I also want to rename it uh, the triple roller. So let's delete the double roller <laughs> and rename it. Oh, oh. Hello. What the heck is wrong with this triple roller? All right, so the triple roller Let's see if it can do what we need it to do.
Why can't we move? Is one of our wheels stuck? One of our wheels just isn't. Are we stuck on a guy? We're stuck on a dude, aren't we? Swing those things forward, will that help us move? Are you kidding me, really? I'm not going to be stopped right now by you guys after all this work. Okay, go forward. There we go, yeah. But I do want to figure out why we couldn't move. Um, so let's go to the sandbox, because I wanted to show you guys this anyway. And uh, the sandbox mode, we can just do all sorts of crazy stuff. And I'm going to see what was the matter with moving. Ah, crap. Have to be careful when we sell the bombs and tap. <laughs> nope. Can we, like, place braces underneath here? Like that. Not braces, but you know what I mean. That would keep them from going down all the way. Uh-oh, that's not good. Good grief. I think it doesn't matter if you put two of those ones together or one of these doubles, but just in case, I want these pieces to stay together, so... Can I just, like, I just want to move forward. Okay, look, we can't even move forward. What in the world is the matter with our wheels? Up and down, 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 up and down. Are we just too heavy? Do we need to crank this up here? What? Up. No, 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 no. Up. Thank you. Copy. Paste. Now is this is this different now? Paste. Okay, there we go. Paste. 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 Doesn't save very much time, but whatever. And I'm not going to mess with those. Um, this should spin us faster around. But of course, then the bombs are just going to fall off again. But if we move slowly. Okay, now can we move forward? We're still not getting very good traction. Are, are, are the plows stopping us? Are we like on the ground? Or are we just too heavy? I think we're probably too heavy. Cause look at that, the wheels are turning super fast. Let's uh, let's get rid of these plows, and now let's see if we can turn if we can move better. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Stupid bombs! Just get out of here for a minute, okay? I'm trying to test this thing. So our problem might be weight. One thing we can do to stabilize it is we I, I could just rotate it I know that but then it would cause a problem for when I put it back in levels I don't want it starting sideways so if we brace these I mean these aren't braces these are 
like actual like full blocks but oops no okay it's it's command C on a Mac by the way developers so you can maybe incorporate us a little bit more and support Mac users I don't know it's not that big of a deal but it's annoying to because you don't use control C for anything on a Mac it's command C so if we make this it's probably gonna be even heavier right It's working a little bit better, actually. Yeah, because those see the catapults are all put together now. They won't be able to fire separately. Even if we, I mean, obviously they can't fire separately, but I mean, if we were to key map them separately, so they could fire separately, it still wouldn't work now because they're all three attached to one another. Okay, so now I'm going to now that we have that working better, I'm going to put the bombs back on here. And let's see now if we can do this without causing too much mayhem. Hey, they didn't even fall out. We can spin around nicely. We don't get very good distance with them is the problem. Can we... What does this do then? That will allow him to go back further, correct? Yeah. Ah! Okay, problem there. Ah! I don't even care. Let's just go. Is when we stop, the weight is so different. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need to weigh down these a little bit more, I think, and hope that it can still lift it up. But for right now, let's save that because it is a better design than I was just using. Okay. Now... under the weight part here we can weigh these down let's see how that behaves then can we still lift them nicely done We might have to turn just turn down the speed on the on the wheels that turn. Like if we go in here to the wheels that go left and right, the dog is making our nest in my bed. What are you doing, dog? Maybe just down to point seven five. Yeah, okay, so the ones that go right and left also down to 0.75 and I wonder if that will do any good because we don't, I mean speed is important for something like this. We need a lot of, the wheels need to turn faster to get us moving because we're so heavy. However, turning does not need to be quite as fast. We're still turning really fast. What if I took it down to like 0.50? Sorry, 0 0.5. 0 0.50 doesn't make it doesn't sound right, doesn't it? And do the same on this side. I know it would be faster to 
copy and paste, but it, it's just this. I'm, I don't know. This is just easier for me. All right, I can live with that. I might, I might bring it down off camera even more, but. That worked well. So I think, uh, I forgot we took the plows off, didn't we? We should add those back. And we can armor this thing up too. These won't do much good, but they look cool. Always back into someone and cause them some mayhem. What cause them some mayhem? Cause them some pain. Let's see how this is. Oh, they're not going down all the way. Are they hitting the spikes? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see then. Yeah, look at how much heavier that is. Oh gosh. Not very good distance on this thing, huh? Uh, one thing we can try, and then I think I might end the episode. How long have we been going? 17 minutes, so we'll be a little bit short, I guess. Is to make these a lot more elastic. This is probably way too much, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, whoa. No way. Let's do maybe a times 2.5. Uh, no, my OCD will kill me if it's not even. Oh, are you serious? Whatever, I'm just gonna have to live with that. <laughs> control C, Control V, Control V. So we must have to go the other way then. Let's bring it all the way down to the lowest elasticity. Now can we launch this further? Hmm. It's not the prettiest looking thing, is it? What if we... Ho ho ho, Tim's getting an idea. This is dangerous, isn't it? Tim getting ideas. Just the all the way down on both of these also. Reset camera. And let's see how far how good this does now. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay, is that because the elasticity is too low or because there's too many springs? <laughs> oh gosh. I want to get a good angle of this and see. Uh, so if I go... I guess I'll just have to get rid of those. Dang. I know there are definitely things that I can work on with it. Um, what about those balloons? Is this insane to add balloons to this thing? Oh. Yeah, probably so, huh? It, it, it helps with the beginning part. But trying to lift it... They don't go far enough. It, it actually decreases the... Alright. I think that's it then. But I think we did good. The triple, uh, I call it what the tri the. the tri I don't know what I called it, but is that wheel floating? Are the wheels like? Maybe that's part of why we're not moving. We're too high off the ground. Well, I just want to picture this thing for the thumbnail, please. All right. Um, if we get rid of these plows, can we now lower this thing down more? What's the matter then? <laughs> Ooh. All right. So maybe it is the plows. Were the plow? Are the plows? Uh. Are the plows raising it up off the ground a little bit. only on one side no it's on both sides I think it is the plows then no not the plows all right so I think that's it guys um, I think this thing works good the way it is it's not perfect but Does it actually say when I do that? No, it does not. It is not saving this. Now did it save it? No. What may, do, do we delete it and then save again? I can't see the weights on this. I just gotta figure this out really quick. Let's wipe this machine and let's just place a spike ball here. No, let's, here's what I wanna do. I wanna take a machine here. Yeah, place a spike ball, spike ball. Spike ball there, 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 and there. I don't think these are attached, are they? Oh, they are, okay. 
um, and save this as spiker. <laughs> okay. Now, if we add a balloon to it and save spiker, save, click overwrite, spiker has a balloon on it now. Okay, so maybe I just can't see the weights on that for some reason. But out of curiosity, let's see what Spiker does with a balloon on it. Nope, nothing. <laughs> uh, so that'll be it for this guy, this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Spiker's not going anywhere. It's too heavy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Woo! And I will see you again. Uh, in my next video. Do, 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 do.